Welcome back to Our Attack and Daughters. And it's been one of those days where I've knocked the camera over at least four fucking times. So, excuse that. So what we got here is we got some, um, a product that I bought in the past and I've bought and added to my 2011 or my 1911 A2 from Rock Island Armory. And uh, these are made by uh, Taylor Freelance. Uh, more ammo is always better. Okay, this is for the Rock Island. Uh, competition base plus one blue. So, um, these people I believe are in Washington State. The maximum capacity you get legal for USPSA shooting uh, fits USPSA uh, gauge. So, if somebody shoots USPC, uh, USPSA, let me know in the comments below. Is the gauge a box? Does it fit in a box and can't have like, you know, extended magazine like on a Glock or, you know what I mean. Um, you want it somewhat flush. And then it's got easy assembly and disassembly. I'll be the judge of that part. Uh, they are made here in USA, and they have a lifetime warranty. So with that being said, it is a piece of aluminum. So I don't ever see having to use this um, for or having warranty issues with a piece of aluminum. Maybe with the threads, but then again, that's you if you do it enough. So anyway, can it anodize blue? We know my color blue. You've already seen my 2011. So let's look at some of the magazines we have here. So what we have here is these nine round magazines. Um, and of course I got mine marked for what they are. Uh, they These are 40 Smith & Wesson, but 10 millimeter will work as well because um, they use the same mags. And they're made in Italia, which means they're Metgar magazines, of course. Good people for good mags. Anyway, um, so what you do is here, now, warning to YouTube, I'm not modifying this at all. This is a nine round magazine with this little base plate here. It might hold 10. Um, that's still within YouTube policy because these magazines are not in YouTube policy where it says 10 round magazines. So these are only nine. Um, so with that being said, we need to make these magazine compliant for the state of California. Hawaii, Illinois, some of all those other states that got magazine bans where you can only have 10 rounds. Well, I don't want to be not in compliance even though I live in a free state. So we're going to put these new base plates on. Now, this does not modify this magazine whatsoever. It's going to make it YouTube friendly. So that's what we're, want, that's what we're talking about here. So we're just going to put a new um, base plate on here. Now, let's see if I can do this on camera without shooting the spring all over the place and things like that. So, like I said, this is pretty simple here. You just push up on it, like so, and it pops right off. Now, that is probably the easiest base plate I've ever seen to get off. It doesn't take a whole lot of hand strength. Also, I bought four of these bad boys for the low, low price of uh, $29.99 pieces of paper. And four of them, so um, you can do the math. But... As an added bonus, they sent me this kick-ass TylerFreelance.com sticker. And I'm going to stick it on my box with uh, or my case for my RA. I got a nice case. We're going to do a video on it too later. But anyway, I'm going to put a kick-ass sticker on there. So that's good. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if I can do this on camera without knocking the, mag or knocking the camera over again for the thousandth time. So you will need an Allen wrench of this size, whatever it is. Um, of course, if you got optics and you got 15,000 Allen wrenches laying around, I'm pretty sure you'll have one that size. So, so look, that's how you do it. You put it in there. Now, I know some of y'all don't know this, but we're going to go. Anyway, somebody might, might be new or uh, not mechanically inclined, so I want to do this. So once you stick it in there, and if you turn it to the right, which is clockwise and righty tidy okay so if you turn it to the right it tightens up if you turn it to the left our clock and our uh non-clockwise turn it to the left lefty loosey and then you don't have to take it all the way out all you have to do is pull this out wait till it gets there because this one is going to go on a different way than this one comes off because this one comes off that way and this one's going to go on uh this way. So wait a minute. Look at that. 
it's going to go on the same way it comes off. Well, the old one comes off. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can get our uh, our spring is. I'll get it off there. You want to put your finger or thumb over there because you know I about launched it off. So anyway, this is what your spring looks like. No, no cover on it like a Glock would have. So and that's why I got my mat down here. My, so we're going to go ahead and compress the spring back in there like Houdini. Start this right here. Sometimes you got to take a little fooling around. Oh yeah, because it goes on the opposite say way. I'm a, I'm a tard. So anyway, um, you heard it here first. Now I gotta switch thumbs. So it's gonna go on front ways. Okay, and it didn't go on right because I don't, I didn't get it on the latch. So anyway, let's show you how to do it without the spring in there. That'd be easier. So there's your little lips. This right here just slides on. You gotta do it. It slides on just like that. Okay. And then you tighten the screw down and it holds it in place. So now I'm gonna do this off camera. Uh due to technical difficulties. Do 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 you may hear me you may hear me cussing this. Don't worry about it. I'll be okay. Do 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 do, 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 do. Uh oh, did I get it in there? Okay. Look at this. Look at, holy crap, look at that. I got it right there, first chance. Do, do, do. And then slide for it. And the, and the spring will lock it down. Okay. So it, it'll still move. That's why you got the little doodadder here. The screw, the sit screw here to sit it in. And then we take it. We'll tighten it up. Righty tighty. Remember that clockwise? Righty tighty. Nice and tight. There you go. Get it tight and then about a quarter turn and there you go. So now we don't have to worry about this going off. And we'll have no problem with it fitting in our 2011. So anyway, thanks for watching and bearing with me on trying to do this and explain this to everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, see more. We'll have a lot more of these um, base plates to put on. As you can see, i got three more to do. And we'll catch you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. It costs nothing to be kind to one another. And we'll catch you good guys and gals and trinaries next time.